Hey, yo, yo, what's going on, yo? I'm sick and tired of 5-0 running up on the block, you know what I'm saying? Yo, still, they came around looking for you the other day. What? What? All right. Hey, what's going on, beer tubers? It's Eric and John coming at you with probably the last beer review we're going to record in 2015, would you say? Uh, chances likely. are high. Yeah. I mean, I have all off all the following week pre New Year's. You have so some ridiculous off we, schedule. We can make some shit happen. But uh, most likely we're planning for this to be the last beer review of 2015. Um, there is one more video to follow 2015, uh, this review at least. Anyways, we thought we'd go out with a bang. Um, this was the beer that was sent to us in a trade from Joe's Arcade or Joe's Arcade. Uh, who's basically hooked us up all year long. And this is kind of a tribute thank you video to you, Joe, uh, for providing all the West Coast shit. Shit. It's not lying. Um, all the treehouse. Uh, you've just gone out of your way to make uh, a very incredible year for my subscribers and for John and myself, drinking-wise. You have ruined us forever as far as IPA goes. So thanks to you, man. But actually, this beer came from you. This is the 2015 vintage of Ale Smith's um, coveted bourbon barrel aged Speedway Stout. And mm -hmm. John and I have had... We had the 2013 at your bachelor party. Correct. Off camera, which was, was great. Right. We had the 2014 not, which blew when our it minds, came out, right? which was really good. Which blew our minds. And if I recall correctly, that beer served itself well with a little bit of temperature on it. Mm -hmm. um, closer to room temp, the more bourbon county it got. So, um, this one is eh, in between that range. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into this one. They clocked this one, and this is Speedway Stout, 2015 bourbon barrel age. We've reviewed this on the channel, and you can see that review. Um, it's probably linked below or not. Uh... And they say it's 12% alcohol by volume. And I don't believe it, man. I feel like it's always 15. It's always 15. It's always 15 with this sucker. Um, this is a beer that I, I really hold in high regard. And I would like to, I was just telling John off camera, pre-record, um, go ahead, sir, um, that I would really, really like to just buy as many of these as possible every year that they release it. And sometimes they release it twice a year, don't they? Um, well, by twice a year, you're thinking of... Like 2014 when some made it up here. Sure, you're right. Normally it's California. You're right. Brewery only and, a lot I mean, of the time. E any variant that they decide to brew in barrel age of Speedway, whether it's Hawaiian, Vietnamese, whatever, I just want to get in on it because... You got that velvet. I, I love this beer. Velvet mm -hmm. was good. All right, well, this beer pours out Midnight it's a, Black. It's a barrel aged stout, a people. really, really good imperial stout. I Dark mean, I, I'm sorry, head. a lot of my other... Local stout reviews, I will shit on those and kind of say it pours out like cola. This doesn't. This pours out like a murky motor oil with a really, really yeah. off-white. No light like at khaki all. khaki white head. I can smell the barrel presence from here. It's Firestone walking right off the nose like crazy fucking coconut and vanilla. So let's get in a little closer to the nose. Oh, man. That's more like that 14. That 13 was just off. Yeah. Had to been. Oh, Jesus hell. Yeah, I get so much like um, macadamia, burnt brown sugar, vanilla. A lot of macadamia, a lot of pecans. Pecans, for sure. Toasted pecan. Maduro wrap. Maduro wrap, for sure, bro. No, but for real, um, big ass whiskey notes, big ass bourbon barrel character. A um, lot of chocolate. Yeah, not a lot of roasty coffee. A nice just char, kind of a, a little splash bit. of coffee, like a yeah, but like a mocha. It's, not like a heavy it's like almost roast, like a mocha. Right. right, right, right. It's not acrid. It's not overly roasted. It's it's more like a mocha coffee. Um, wow. A uh, twinge of booze at the end. Just a little, but just enough to let you know that this is something to be sipped for the next two hours. Uh, but really, really, really excellent barrel notes here. I mean, this is this is becoming quickly one of my favorite West Coast uh, barrel aged breweries, other than Modem Tones. Um, and I really like Firestone Walker. They just mouthfeel such an important thing to me, and, and it's not existent in a lot of their. A lot of them. But I'm a, uh, according to some of their Twitter uh, personnel, 
we're beer geeks who don't know what we're talking about when we talk about some of their beers. Sure. Anyways. I don't know. I get fudge. I get vanilla. I mean, fuck. Awesome. Joe, thanks so much for sending us our way. I think this is more than appropriate in that trade. So, cheers. This is one of John's favorite beers. People don't know that. I'm not wrong, am I? Yeah, just big boozy syrup. Fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, Fudge bomb. Like, brownie batter, coated in bourbon, with vanilla notes, creme brulee, brown sugar, um, macadamia, coconut. It's all there. It's all there. Uh, coffee. The coffee is really, really nice. And it, it integrates really nicely. It's not like uh, a, some coffee stouts tend to just be like 100% coffee, yeah. like 20% stout. The, that, that math doesn't add we up. Did a, I, we did I, a I BCS that. review. And yeah. We didn't like that one that the much. The coffee is just so well integrated in this. It's, it's, a, it's a component rather than a dominating matchup. Um. This is really balanced. Holy F. They used Ryan, Ryan Brothers. Brothers. Okay. I was going to mention that earlier. I know they use Mostra for their special ones, like the Jamaican Blue. Velvet. I think the Hawaiian one. Velvet. Yeah. I think we can get Hawaiian for the show. I have a lead on that. It's Joe. <laughs> That's big. I haven't asked news him about flash. it. But news, news flash. flash. Joe, I'm going to ask you for a bottle of Hawaiian. The best thing about YouTube this year is I've gotten fatter throughout the reviews leaning towards December. I like start off fat, go slim, and then Yeah, we're in the holiday season, kids. Stout and turkey. Get large. Mm -hmm. Get large or go home. In Minnesota. Hopefully that gives you a really good fucking laugh because... This is how we handle the winter here, yeah. (laughs) Sodium and carbs for days. Uh, Anyways, I... We're about to film our top 10, 12, or 15 beers of 2015, uh, and we've assembled a list here, and I didn't think this would make it, and I think I'm wrong. I think you're going to slide it in? Slide into those slide DMs? Slide it in somewhere. I think this is outstanding. This is really, really fucking good. As far as barrel-aged stouts go. We've had some better barrel-aged stouts, I think, but this is still really, well, really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a bottle over there. I think it's better. Over there. There's a bottle over there. This is close. Even yeah. though I need to know. I know. I know you. You're totally enjoying watching us point off screen. Yep. That bottle over there. It's better. Yeah. Wow. Just take my word for it. Well, you'll have to just tune into the next video. You give a shit. Um. If you put this side by side with the 2015 Bourbon County or Bourbon County Coffee, which I think it destroys Bourbon County. It coffee. destroys coffee. Um, but I think regular, it's really regular close. Bourbon County right now is awesome. 2015 mm-hmm. Bourbon mm-hmm. County, mm-hmm. it's fantastic. It's um, really I nice think I might I give the nod nice to Bourbon County. Really closely, I think, but it's it's pretty close. Yeah, I don't know. I think I like the <clears> less. A stringent boozy character of this the slight coffee character that this gives and I think this gives just as much I would say barrel this character. is maybe a little more complex yep and I think it's a little bit more subtle and balanced and it doesn't rape my tongue which I like that bourbon kind of rapes my tongue right, it's like yeah. oh daddy please but <laughs> you just, I can't you, wait for you to you freeze had to fit that in. oh yeah. fuck yeah bro uh, I'm just gonna edit it out. Go for it. I'm gonna think. insert some sound noise. Mm. Mm, it's outstanding. Um, the only criticism I have is is the finish is slightly tannic. I get a little bit too much um, borderline acidity from the coffee and the taste at the last swallow, if you will. That's what she said. I would say this is kind of how you should do coffee beers, though. Mm-hmm. A lot of people really f up their coffee beers. Mm-hmm. Um, we taste effed up coffee beers KBS, on the regular. BCBCS. Uh, who else has a really shitty coffee beer? Bell's Java Stouts. Eh. 
Oh, Nuclearis Coffee Stout. I didn't even want to review that. This Central year. Waters Java Stout. Uh, Central Waters uh, Brewhouse Coffee Stout. That's a lot of people one. really, really, really like that. I, I don't, don't know what you. I don't know what your angle is, people. No. But I don't. And Peruvian Morning, that, but... Peruvian Morning non in fact, is an outstanding beer. It's pretty good. I have some twenty thirteen in some. Yeah. But uh, this, on the other hand, medium to full bodied mouth feel. Medium, medium. Uh, I really don't think that is spoken enough on our channel. It's a top 15 beer for me this year. This is one of the beers that made San Diego like a beer place to be, right? Mm hmm. And I think it should continue to do so. I think this is a beer, like I said, pre video in the intro to the video that I want every time it's released. And we should just sell her. It does well. We'll see. Probably will never happen. It's 30 bucks a bottle plus shipping. Expensive. Yep. Black Tuesday. We got Black Tuesday this year, though. Yep. I'm going to continue to get a ton of that. Uh, I think rankings-wise, this is on that high end for me. It's not on its... Nope. It's close. I'll give this a 90. Seven. Ooh. Now you got to make me think a little bit. You know, I think this is a top-tier beer. It's not the best you could ever have, potentially, but it's always going to be always a good choice. You know, when I think about Burden Barrel Age coffee stouts, just coffee stouts. Well, you're think thinking about... of one, and then... No, I'm not. What mm. am I thinking of? KBBS. <laughs> maple uh, Every two. time, yeah. That has maple too, so yeah. no, he's wrong. You're still counting it. What I'm... No, I'm not. You're, you're counting it right now. No, I'm not. I can, I can hear your oh, brain. Oh, my God. All right, let me just spell this out for you quickly. KBS was one I was thinking of, and I wrote that off quickly. Uh... I was thinking about, um, what was the other? Triple B. No, I was thinking about Big Bad Baptist. Triple B. Oh, yeah, duh. I was thinking about Bourbon County Coffee. Yeah. I was thinking about, um, oh boy. We're running into issues here. Oh, Proving Morning. And there's just a handful of others that make a coffee. Oh, uh, Mocha Machine. Barrel aged milk machine. We didn't have barrel aged milk. But we had regular right OG machine. milk machine. Thought it was. But there's so many beers and barrel styles with coffee, and then there's in barrel aged. You know, there's just not a lot of great ones out there. So this is easy to stand above the rest. I think. Uh, for me, it gets a 98. So that's not much higher than you. I was debating on a 99, but there's a splash of astringency, and a little bit of. Um, No, I'll go with 99. It's borderline perfect for me. It it the only thing that gets me is the astringency somewhat at the, the, the tail. Yeah, the tail end. Otherwise, it's damn. Yeah, perfect. no, you can't go wrong by having this. It, no. It's the it biggest blows knock, away the non barrel. The biggest knock is it's thirty bucks. Yeah, exactly. But um, you get what you pay for. It's worth it. Because if you barrel aged founders breakfast out, you get KBS, and that sucks. And I'm probably alone in that crowd. A lot of people hate me for saying that beer sucks, but... Mm, KBS, man. KBS is just what I've fallen down. Yeah, and it's My opinion. Alright, well, this has been well, probably the last beer review that we're doing of 2015. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. I think Joe. we're going to sip this while we do oh, yeah. the next video. Yep, we're going to actually... You're probably, literally, we're going to shut this off and start recording the next video. And then... I have to export your video. Yeah, whatever. We're still coming at you with more of this in the class. Well, Eric continues to drink, which is really good when we record another video. Helping you, sir. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Take it easy,